so I quit my job. I think I'm still processing everything because I'm going through the transition of it all. But I just wanted to share with you how I got to this place and why I made that decision. Well, for those of you who don't know, I started working in property management two and a half years ago, at which then I got licensed as a Georgia real estate agent, literally at the same time. I got licensed first and then I got hired in property management. So my goal has always been to work in real estate. Like that was the goal. Um, I happened to be offered an opportunity. Um, it sounded great because it was something consistent, like, you know, consistent income and benefits and all that good stuff. So I went ahead and took the job. My plan was to be there a short period of time so that I can continue working in real estate. But as things progressed, as I grew with the company, that just didn't happen and real estate took the, the, the back seat, um, which wasn't my intention, but as time just kind of went by, that's just what it ended up being. So over time, I had this desire to work in real estate. Like I wanted to still pursue working in the industry. So I started to work part-time a little bit, but not really. It was just kind of dipping and dabbing because my schedule was like full-time. I would kind of fast forward from the two and a half year mark to this year because honestly that first year and a half, I was just so in property management where I wasn't really doing much at all in real estate like I wanted to. So fast forward to the beginning of this year, I told myself that by the summertime, I wanted to fully transition to real estate. In March, I joined a broker, I transferred brokerages in which I felt like, felt more comfortable being a part of. That's a whole nother story. But um, so I joined an amazing brokerage. Then I actually started working. Prior to me joining the brokerage in March, I literally like went back and forth on even starting. Like just the thought of it was overwhelming to me. Like the thought of starting from scratch, like the thought of just like <sighs> learning everything I needed to learn, you know, like doing everything I needed to do, like on top of everything going on it was just a lot to even get to join the brokerage was a milestone <laughs> in its own because i was a complete joke i talked about how much i wanted to do it but i definitely didn't put the actions behind it so joined the brokerage in march Woo that was great milestone so now it's like okay what are you gonna do now that you join so then once about once i've joined i like started working however there was still this part of me that felt like attached to my nine to five where I wasn't really giving it everything. I wasn't really giving my full effort as I should have and I was just like feeling super comfortable. Like even though real estate was what I wanted to do, I still felt like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like I just felt like, attached and comfortable and paralyzed where I was. So moving forward, I realized that I would never get to where I wanted to get if I did not allow myself to feel the discomfort and get over the fear of like getting over the hump. You know what I mean? Like just getting over transitioning. So then it got to a point where I actually started like working, getting clients. I'm literally working on my lunch break, after work, 
like life got hectic between doing property management, working in real estate, being a wife, like everything that I was, that I felt like I had on my plate in the time that I had to do it working out, like just trying to do everything. It's just like, I didn't have enough time in the day to manage it all. That's how I felt. I felt overwhelmed. I knew something was gonna have to give, but yet it was one of those strains where I, you know, it was just hard to fully detach from it. However, I knew that my purpose was not where I was. So I knew that I was eventually gonna have to step out on faith. So I kind of came up with the plan of when I decided to sever between my job and going into real estate full time, but it definitely happens a lot sooner. I feel like God showed me things to push me um, closer in that direction because he knows me and he knows what I was and wasn't going to do and how long I was going to take and you know, so honestly it was an abrupt decision. It was one of those things where I felt like I had peace about it. Um, I knew what was on my plate and I knew that it was best for where I wanted to be and getting over the fear of not having the consistent job. Um, but everything I, I desired, like just long term in life, like just bigger than, you know, selling a house. It's like bigger than that to me. Like there's like full purpose within this direction that God is bringing me in. So I decided to quit and it was a complete leap of faith and that's what I did. And now I'm just trying to work through the transition of it. Um, I don't think I've ever not had a job that didn't have a schedule, you know, like a clock in, clock out. Um, so it's really new to me. I know that I can handle it. I know that I can be amazing at everything that I have envisioned in my mind and dream to do. Um, but it still is a transition for me. Am I scared? No. I don't feel scared. Um, I don't feel scared. I feel like it's a process that I have to learn through. That I have to grow through. Yeah. That's how I feel. I'm not scared of the unknown. I know that I'm gonna be great. I don't doubt myself, but it's something to learn and grow through, for sure. So, yeah, now I'm gonna fully pursue real estate and manage my own schedule, be my own boss, and that's it. So, I will definitely keep you guys updated and in the loop of my life. <laughs> so, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!